There is news that the number of people who are out walking and killed by cars is on the rise. And we were surprised when ABC's David Curley told us why, told us the reasons. It can happen in a blink. A car can't stop. And a pedestrian dummy serves as a statement of an alarming and growing problem. Washington, D.C. police wanted to show that at just 35 miles an hour, there is just a fraction of a second to react. A pedestrian is killed on our roads on average every two hours. And like this jogger in Charlotte, someone on a road is hurt every eight minutes. This man suffered minor injuries. The driver who left the scene later arrested. Most striking, half of pedestrian deaths involved alcohol. But we're not just talking drivers. A third of the pedestrians killed 1,500 people were walking drunk with a blood alcohol level of 0.08 or higher. Seven out of ten pedestrian fatalities happen at night, and they often involve alcohol. Walking drunks have become such a problem in England. Watch this man falling onto the rail tracks, or this drunk who falls on the escalator and can't get off, that this video was released as a warning of the dangers of drunk walkers. Weekend nights are the deadliest time for pedestrians. And while the majority of these accidents happen in cities, it's not at intersections. So what can you do? Be predictable. Follow the rules of the road. Never assume that a driver sees you. Make eye contact. And alcohol is not the only problem. For both pedestrians and drivers, don't be distracted by your electronic device. It can take both your ears and your eyes off the road. Distracted driving, distracted walking. We've got to encourage people to have an awareness that this problem is a real problem. A real problem killing more than 4,000 every year. David Curley, ABC News, Washington.